So he went on for a little while without seeing anything, until at last he came to a middle-aged gentleman. So he said to the gentleman, what are you doing here? And his answer was, I am always busy, come and be busy with me. So he began to be very busy with that gentleman, and they went and threw the wood together. The whole journey was through a wood, only it had been open and green at first, like a wood in spring, and now began to be thick and dark, like a wood in summer. Some of the little trees that had come out earliest were even turning brown. The gentleman was not alone, but had a lady of about the same age with him, who was his wife and they had children who were with them too. So they all went on together through the wood, cutting down the trees and making a path through the branches and the fallen leaves and carrying burdens and working hard. Sometimes, they came to a long green avenue that opened into deeper woods. Then they would hear a very little distant voice crying, Father, Father, I am another child, stop for me. And presently they would see a very little figure growing larger as it came along, running to join them. When it came up, they all crowded round it and kissed and welcomed it, and they all went on together. Sometimes they came to several avenues at once, and they all stood still. And one of the children said, Father, I am going to sea. And another said, Father, I am going to India. And another, Father, I am going to seek my fortune where I can, and another, Father, I am going to heaven. So, with many tears at parting, they went solitary down those avenues, each child upon its way, and the child who went to heaven rose into the golden air and vanished. Whenever these partings happened, the traveler looked at the gentleman and saw his glance up at the sky above the trees where the day was beginning to decline and the sunset to come on. He saw too that his hair was turning gray, but they never could rest long for they had their journey to perform and it was necessary for them to be always busy. At last, there had been so many partings that there were no children left, and only the traveler, the gentleman, and the lady went upon their way in company. And now the wood was yellow, and now brown, and the leaves, even of the forest trees, began to fall. So they came to an avenue that was darker than the rest. They were breezing forward on their journey without looking down. It's when the lady stopped. My husband, said the lady, I am cold. They listened and they heard a voice a long way down the avenue say, Mother, mother. It was the voice of the first child who had said, I am going to heaven, and the father said, I pray not yet, the sunset is very near, I pray not yet, but the voice cried, Mother, Mother, without minding him, though so his hair was now quite white, and tears were on his face. Then 
the mother who was already drowned into the shade of the dark avenue and moving away with her arms still round his neck kissed him and said my dearest i am summoned and i go and she was gone and the traveler and he were left alone together and they went on and on together until they came to very near the end of the wood so near that they could see the sunset shining great before them through the trees yet once more while he broke his way among the branches the traveler lost his friend he called and called but there was no reply and when he passed out of the wood and so the peaceful sun going down upon a white purple prospect he came to an old man sitting on a fallen tree so he said to the old man what do you do here and the old man said with a calm smile I am always remembering come and remember with me so the traveler sat down by the side of that old man face to face with the Syrian sunset and all his friends come softly back and stood around him the beautiful child the handsome boy the young man in love the father mother and children every one of them was there and he had lost nothing so he loved them all and was kind of a greeting with them all and was always pleased to watch them all and they all honored and loved him and i think the traveler must be yourself dear grandfather because this is what you do to us and what we do to you